The awards, the gowns, the jokes, the Golden Globes were full of memorable moments, and our very own Brad Smith was in the thick of it all. That's right, Dina. Award season has officially kicked off here in L.A. at the Golden Globes, and all eyes were on George and Amal. Hollywood's hottest newlyweds made their award season red carpet debut, and they didn't disappoint. I get to run into all my old friends, so it's fun. Oh, I'm just really proud of what we're celebrating tonight. It's my first time in the Golden Globes. It's the most fun party of the year. It's an out-of-body experience. I feel like I'm not here. Thank Looking you. studly tonight. Thank you very much. I thought I had good hair, and then you made me cry a couple times walking down the oh, carpet. Oh, stop it. <laughs> I had a lot of help. The stars couldn't help share their love for Canada. Boom. Right? Shakalaka. Oh, Canada. Canada, I love you. Keep watching, Mom. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. What is award season like from a kid for Canada? It's pretty ridiculous. Two of Hollywood's funniest women had everyone in stitches. No one and no topic was off limits. Bill Cosby has finally spoken out about the allegations against him. Cosby admitted to a reporter, I put the pills in the people! George Clooney wasn't nominated for an award, but he still took home some very important hardware. The Cecil B. DeMille Award. George Clooney! It's a, it's a humbling thing when you find uh, someone to love. I'm all, whatever all can be, it is the proudest together. I, I couldn't be more proud to be your husband. Taking top prize last night and cementing its status as an Oscar frontrunner was Boyhood, sporting actress honor for Patricia Arquette. Did you think Richard Linklater was crazy when he said we're going to film this over 12 years? No. <laughs> Everything in my body was like, yes. Really? This is genius. And Entertainment City has been following the Golden Globes Best Actor and Actress since their films premiered on Canadian soil at TIFF. Award season favorite Birdman saw Michael Keaton win big. Michael Keaton Birdman. Well, I think he played a role that uh, he gave himself and he gave us uh, the gift of being naked emotionally. Gina Rodriguez, Jane the Virgin. Show me's Jane the Virgin star Gina Rodriguez won big at her first ever Golden Globes and Entertainment City heard it first. We are going to see our Gina Rodriguez take the award. In a time like, you know, like this, where we need the press to be unified and continue fighting and, and uh, stand up. To our brothers, sisters, friends and family and friends, on vous aime, je suis Charlie. The red carpet style was red hot. From the amazing to the awful, our fashion expert is breaking down the looks. Who ruled the red carpet last night? Well, it comes down to one person, and that's Emma Stone. She completely stood out among all the dresses. She was wearing a jumpsuit by Long Van, and she just looked freaking cool. So a lot of the men last night in the red carpet were pretty surprising. So we had Eddie Redmayne in a midnight blue velvet tux jacket. We had Matthew McConaughey, who boldly went aubergine with his jacket. Someone who took the biggest risk last night was definitely Sienna Miller in her Mew Mew embroidered gown. And you know, I wanted it to work, but it just didn't. Next up on the awards season calendar is the SAGs on January 25th. And of course, Entertainment City will be live from the Grammys on the red carpet as the exclusive Canadian broadcaster on February 8th. From L.A. at the Golden Globes, back to you, Dina. Well done. Thanks, B. Well, from red carpets to ice rinks, our hometown hockey team was in New Brunswick this weekend. Jennifer, and as you know, we just want to thank City of Moncton. This is a... Uh... Stop 14 on the Rogers Hometown Hockey Tour, and everywhere we've gone, somebody has done something special for us, usually in the way of hospitality, but nothing like this. They've actually produced the outdoor rink. You know, I think for me, it's the memories, right? That's why I grew up going to the outdoor rink at the end of the street. Do you have some memories, too, from growing up? For sure. Rinks? I remember trying to get a wrist shot, a puck in the air at the outdoor rink, hours on end. We're in Charlottetown next weekend for our Rogers Hometown Hockey Tour. For Entertainment City, I'm Jennifer Barrow. On behalf of Ron McClain. And find the latest entertainment headlines on Twitter at NCity.